everyone, it's Alex of Alex of English Class. Today I'm going to introduce you about black holes. Well, black holes are very mysterious and weird. We don't know a lot about them, but we have theories about them. And also we know about them, of course. But then, what are black holes? What happens if we come near a black hole? And what happens when we go into a black hole. Well, black holes actually form when very massive stars get smaller and smaller and smaller and then explode and then comes out a neutron star or a black hole. But today I'm going to introduce you about the black hole. The black hole actually, well, is known to actually eats up stars with this gravitational pull. But first, how do we know about black holes? They're like black, of course, so you can't see them because the universe is also black. You can't see black holes. Also, black holes are strong for they also curve the space and time so much. So it tells they are very strong. But then we can see them because of the accretion disk made by matter that orbit the black holes. Matter can orbit black holes too. And these matter goes really fast and hot and makes light. Light also orbits black holes too. And then they bent around the black holes, making the disk and glow so we can see black holes. But actually the black part is the event horizon. The event horizon is actually a border that crosses the black hole and the universe. And so, when you go into the event horizon, you'll actually be dead because inside is the singularity and this singularity will gulp up you. <laughs> but then, there is another region of a black hole and it's very weird because black holes spin. Place is called the ergosphere, as I said in my black hole bomb video. This ergosphere has all the rotational energy of the ringularity because the singularity, which is told as a point, actually swirls outward, making a ringularity. And this rotational energy makes the ergosphere. And then when you go inside it, you get to round and round and round and round and then orbit the black hole and then into it. Then said, what happens when you get near a black hole? When you get near a black hole and look at your side, it's very funny because even light can orbit black holes. The light from your back comes into your eye so you can look at your back on your side wherever you look at. And then, However, black holes are very strong, so time is very slow. And as the gravity is more stronger, time is more slower. And so, when you see the universe going in fast mode, people on Earth will see you in slow motion. And then when you go back to Earth, and then you'll see that all your loved ones are dead and centuries and centuries and centuries and centuries have passed. <laughs> A very good way to time travel into the future to go near a black hole. However, it's impossible because of the gravitational pull, you'll get into the black hole. Because your feet is closer to the black hole, it gets more of the gravity pull. And then when you go into the black hole, you'll get thinner and thinner and then into the singularity and then you're dead. So that's what happens when you go into a black hole. But what will happen when stars start to die and what will happen to black holes? Well, they will die. 
but will take a very, 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 very long time. And this is called Hawking radiation, which makes the black hole to evaporate. Well, the matter from the black hole comes out, becomes antiparticles and particle. However, if it comes near a black hole, one particle goes into the black hole, and while the other becomes a black hole another particle. But this particle is called the Hawking radiation and takes out mass of the black hole. And then this gets faster and faster and faster and faster until the black hole is so small and then it explodes and like a nuclear bomb and disappears. Nothing is left. However, it will take a very, very long time for only a very small bit will be less and then it explodes because a black hole the mass of our sun will take 10 to the power of 67 years it's to evaporate and that's exactly its lifetime. Then how about the supermassive black holes in the galaxies, in the middle of the galaxies. Well, they have 10 to the power of 100 years of their lifetime, which is very, very long, and it's so long that we can't grasp it. And so that's all about black holes. And black holes are very amazing. Okay, today I introduce you about black holes, and next time I'll come with a different topic. Bye-bye!